The experts say Americans have a 1 in 10,000 chance of living to be 100. There are about 32,000 centenarians in the United States, many of them living healthy and happy lives. CNN's Cheryl Potts reports on a study that's attempting to uncover the secrets of such longevity. Jesse Champion will be 104 in August. He plans his garden while his wife makes soap to sell at a spring festival. Champion is among 47 centenarians helping University of Georgia researchers uncover the secrets of longevity. Uh, we want to study and see what are the factors that contribute to their successful adaptation. Dr. Poon oversees a research team that interviews centenarians and gathers information about genetics, nutrition, health, housing, social and family support, and coping skills. I don't drink and don't smoke and don't chew back a needle. The surprising thing about our centenarians so far from our preliminary data is they may drink, they might not drink, they might smoke, they might not smoke. So, so far, research nutritionist Marianne Johnson has uncovered just one dietary trend that might be significant. Survivors eat well and often. So the dogma has always been the older you get, the less you eat, the, the poorer your diet quality. Our preliminary data suggests that's not really the case, that they still have pretty good diets. I have a good appetite to eat. I can eat three times a day. I'm hungry now. <laughs> hey, come here. I, I, I want to get you... Can, can you go go and get me a, a small club for that lawn? The research already uh, indicates there are several traits the oldest of the old share. Among them are optimism, continued physical activity, a reason to live such as family and friends, and a sense of religion. Champion credits his long life to faith. The Lord, the Lord have all power. He'll let you live a long time. If you have faith in Jesus Christ, he'll let you live a long time. Those who are high in so what we call religiosity uh, have fewer mental health problems and tend to be healthier. The study indicates intelligence is also a key factor in adapting to old age. The research won't be completed for another two years, by then, investigators speculate they might know enough to give everyone a better chance for a long, healthy life. Cheryl Potts, CNN, Greensboro, Georgia.